Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. Top tip number two is to take a look at my absolute uh, favorite feature, it has to be said, uh, in, in Photoshop, and it has been for a very long time, and that is the use of blend modes. Uh, blend modes, when we're creating composite files, uh, are indispensable for the way we can uh, fast track workflows and also achieve outcomes that are not possible uh, by simply masking um, uh, or deleting pixels on one layer to reveal the pixels on the layers underneath. Okay, so let's take a look at this particular image, a uh, picture of a house uh, at dusk. Um, so we've got the best of the uh, colors in the sky. Now, even if the lights were on inside of the house, they would be so dim as to be unnoticeable. So what I've done is I've just wasted, uh, waited um, an hour or so um, for the light to completely fade from the sky. And now the lights in the house are very, very noticeable. Now, how can we uh, make those lights appear in the underlying image? Now we have a layer mask here and we could start trying to mask between the two but that I'm not even too sure whether that's entirely possible but I know it would take a very long time even if it was and so the importance of um, blend modes is where um, this uh, workflow is fast tracked. Now I'm just going to choose uh, either lighten or screen. I'll choose lighten in this instance. Okay this is a group of uh, blend modes which uh, treats black as a neutral color. Uh, when I main neutral, it makes the uh, darker pixels, pixels um, absolutely invisible. So I'll just uh, select lighten and you can quite quickly see we've just turned the lights on inside of that house. Now the light and uh, blend mode is doing exactly that. It's only showing me the lighter pixels no matter what layer they're on. Okay and so um, because all of the uh, pic uh, pixels of the sky and the foreground are lighter on the underlying layer they are honored. Okay and all of the darker pixels on the top layer are made neutral. Okay so just a quick before and after there. Okay, now real estate photographers would love that top technique and you see that there's absolutely no masking involved in that. That's a one click, a wonder there, and that uh, shows absolutely the power of blend modes. Just so we can show you um, a new uh, image here. And again, this is not an actual uh, photograph, it's uh, movies inside of Photoshop. I'll just open up my timeline panel again so we can actually see that um, there are two movies. Now the top movie is actually um, uh, has the screen blend mode which is very similar to the lighten. Small visual differences. We're getting a little bit more of a kick on the screen uh, showing a little bit more of the underlying image there or movie I should say. But what this is doing is it's showing us that um, uh, as this dancer moves around in the dust uh, that is uh, around. Uh, the, um, the dancer isn't actually being subjected to breathing in any of this powder uh, that is picking up the colored lights in the studio here. Okay, so um, uh, quite easily, you know, this is done just by applying the blend mode. Look, no dancer and suddenly we have a dancer and then this can uh, be rolled through and so we have a movie composite. Okay, very clever stuff. Another one click edit there. Okay, let's just uh, take a look at um, uh, uh, another image that I've got here. So we'll go over to uh, Multiply and I'll just collapse that uh, timeline panel as this is a still image. Now you can see on this particular image, again it's a composite image, we have uh, a flower on some sand. Now the uh, sand was actually photographed in the Middle East, uh, but the flower is in my home studio. Now you can see here is that, um, and there's a picture, um, we've got some very complex shadows here uh, cast by a mixture of the primary light source and the ambient or fill light source. Okay, Now it's uh, very tricky to be able to mask that accurately because of the subtle gradations of tone in those shadows. So I've not masked um, 
the shadow at all basically I'm using the blend modes okay so let's just take a quick look at that mask you can see I've only created a layer mask to hide the sand pixels on this layer the shadow actually comes in through the use of the blend mode so we're using the multiply blend mode now white is neutral in these multiply blend modes so that's why we're seeing this uh, sand if I just go back to the normal blend mode you can see that we can see the flower um, masked against the uh, background but we're not seeing any of the shadow the shadow is simply being fed or added into this composite file um, courtesy of the multiply blend mode so again a very good um, image to highlight the usefulness of blend modes okay um, let's just continue with a couple more blend modes I'm going to pick up one called uh, soft light here um, this uh, flag being um, pushed over a piece of silk there okay um, I'll just switch off the blend mode go back to normal so you can see we can see the graphic you can see that graphic is following the contours of the flag the blend mode actually pushes um, um, and honors the underlying shadows and highlights let's just go over to the soft light blend mode again which is a contrast blend mode okay um, but the displacement the way that that uh, graphic actually follows the contours of that flag is actually what's called a displacement map and uh, if you followed my uh, top tip number one you'll realize that um, the power of applying this as a non-destructive smart filter